Welcome to Seven Reasons to Justifiably Hate the New England Patriots. This is reason number five. I'm Brandon Perna, and to quickly recap, reason seven was Tom Brady, too good looking. Reason six, Bill Belichick is an emotionless drone, and today we get a two for one special that I will loosely tie together, like the plot line in Stranger Things when Eleven joins the gang of emo goth punks to discover her path. Emo goth punks, notorious for their gang like activity. Let's get sports. This episode is sponsored by BetDSI.com. There is a link in the description. Use my promo code GOOD25 and BetDSI, one of the best sports books out there, is giving you $25 free dollars to wager on their website. Now, at BetDSI, you can bet on any game, any sports, really, whatever tickles your fancy. I'll have uh, betting advice for the Super Bowl later this week in the prediction episode. So again, use my promo code GOOD25, you get $25 free dollars. I'm giving you free money to try to turn into more money, which you can then turn into even more money and then retire or buy weed, whatever. Reason five, to hate the Patriots. They're racist and their celebrity fans suck. That's right, I said it. The Patriots organization is racist. They are so racist, they don't call their ball catchers wide receivers. They call them white receivers. Rob Gronkowski, white. Julian Edelman, white. Danny Amendola, white. Chris Hogan, white. Even their running back, who is black, James White, has been forced to change his last name to white. Player acquisitions this year include Rex Burkhead and Brian Hoyer, two guys who look like they could have been cast as the lead in American History X. Racist. Have you ever heard uh, Bill Burr refer to Boston? What is Boston like? I always go, it's like a racist San Francisco. It has the <laughs> same quaintness, perfect size. Yeah. You want to get on a sailboat? Yeah, history. And then throw in the N-word? Yeah. And there's Boston. So is it any surprise that the team would follow suit? Show me one other NFL team who, when healthy, has four white guys as their four main offensive weapons. Now that I think about it, I can name one. It's called a hockey team. Now, let's just take a look at how many non-white guys uh, Tom Brady, the Patriots' definitely racist quarterback, invites to train with him in Big Sky, Montana during the summer. Let's see here, we got Danny Amendola, white, Julian Edelman, white, maybe Chris Hogan, uh, hard to say, they didn't give him a lower third, and personally, to me, all white people look the same. I guess Brandon Cooks and Malcolm Mitchell's invitations got lost in the mail. Now, Rob Gronkowski was invited, but he was not able to follow the directions in his GPS because of, you know, his brain. Racists! Well, not to mention, uh, when they're on their training vacation in Montana, they do what white people do best. Destroy the environment and pretend their activities are not homoerotic. So that's how I could have been better at playing football. Okay, now if you don't buy into the idea that they're racist, that that's just a coincidence, that's fine. We live in a very sensitive world right now where the only safe place to say shitty, offensive, or racist things is in the Oval Office. Which leads me to another reason you should hate the Patriots. Their celebrity fans suck. Oh my God, do they suck. Let's go through the list. Donald Trump, Patriots fan, huge one. Chris Evans, the guy who plays Captain America. Captain America loving the Patriots may be the most cliche thing of all time. Then you have Bon Jovi, Ben Affleck, Casey Affleck, Ugh. Mark Wahlberg. Being stuck in a room with those four guys is called an escape room. The Patriots are so racist, all of their celebrity fans are even white. By comparison, the Eagles have a powerhouse of great, diverse celebrities rooting for them. I mean, you have Sylvester Stallone, Bob Saget, Maria Bello, Bradley Cooper, Will Smith, Tina Fey, Quest Love, and maybe, most importantly, Rob McElhaney and Caitlin Olsen from It's Always Sunny. Put it this way, if both groups threw a party, celebrity Patriots fans or celebrity Eagle fans, which one would you attend? 
I think the answer here is pretty simple. I'm heading to Philadelphia to make dick jokes with Bob Saget, get lost in Bradley Cooper's eyes while listening to Questlove's music and asking Rob McElhaney if I can play Charlie's long lost brother on It's Always Sunny. Come on, Rob, give me a fucking part. Now, yes, I intentionally left out notable Patriots fans such as Elton John, Conan O'Brien, Matt Damon, and Elizabeth Banks. Because if I included them, it would not fit my narrative of hate for the Patriots. But you should note, they are all white as well. I can't make this stuff up. You come here for the truth. Now, come back tomorrow for reason number four, and you can watch uh, the previous episodes by clicking on the videos you see right now. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube to That's Good Sports. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Brandon Perna. If you want to talk football, I talk at you. I talk that football with you. I talk that football with you.